Yeah, that's a good starting fish right there, guys. Got the gold head jig going, the hammer tan, but let's talk about something. This is gonna be an awesome episode. Midday, 345, water temperature at 86, yeah. I wanted to start off this episode by introducing you guys to the uh, the Maverick. We haven't talked about the new six foot Maverick. It's been out for a couple weeks now. A one piece, fantastic light casting rod. In fact, I'll use it on the next fish right here. Um, if you're a shore fisherman, or if you're just a guy that likes to cast with the smaller rods, this is a six footer, one piecer. Got a good ergonomical AAA cork handle, stainless steel eyelets. It is called the Maverick. Beautiful artwork on it gold tones all over it. Um, just a stunning rod, lightweight, like I said, plenty of backbone. Let's, let's put a fish in the boat with it and uh, we'll go from there. The Maverick, now available at Three Pound Fishing. All right, as all you guys know, I'm a 10 foot guy, but there are a lot of anglers out there that like the shorter rods and I get it. They're ca they're beautiful to cast with. Very simple. Um, typically, an overhand technique is best. Um, I use a sidearm, unfortunately, but we're going to use it right here, and I'm going to show you the great backbone on this rod. You're going to see a lot of the pro staffers using this. This is a great uh, if you're going to shoot docks. Uh, we're we're kind of promoting it as a casting rod, but it is a one piece. Uh, great opportunity to you know shoot docks all those great techniques that you can use with these smaller casters. So we're just going right through this pile right now. And there we go. First cast with it. Good night. <laughs> the Maverick. What a beautiful rod though. Good success. We're keeping some for a fish fry. So we're gonna be keeping them for the next couple of weeks. Big fish fry coming up. So we, uh, yeah, we're the ones supplying the fish. So. Oh, look at that. Cast number two with the Maverick. Good night. Woo, baby. We gotta love this now. Boom. Now I gotta thank uh, <clears throat> Cornfield Fishing Gear for these awesome mounts, man. We've been fishing in some really rough weather lately, and these things have been really holding up. I'm talking big waves, and I'm just telling you, give Mark a call or his wife over there, Cornfield Fishing Gear, and check out these mounts. Now, I use the 40 folding mount, which is what you see right there. I, I just, I think it's the perfect tithe for me. Come on, baby, just touch it. Um, and so that's primarily why I use the folding mount, although there's a lot of safety features. You know, when you consider a folding mount, you can actually get your screen out of your way, which I think is, a, is an awesome thing as well. Also, if I wanna use my boat cover, um, that allows me to bend it down and use my boat cover, so. Check them out at Cornfield Fishing Gear, guys. Oh my gosh, he just had it. <laughs> Smaller guy, but definitely eatable. Boom. Yeah, guys, so check out the Maverick. Awesome, six footer. I believe it's 59 bucks online. You go to threepoundfishing.com. Just a beautiful one piece, six foot rod. Great for your shoreline fishing. Uh, great for the bow if you're a guy that likes to cast with longer rods. But we're going to go back to the hammer because that's my that's my my jam. You guys know that the hammer is just a uh, incredible rod. Um, as you can see, we even got the three pound fishing reel on there. So let's do now, it. The reason why I do use a ten footer is because I feel like the leverage on my home lake is required uh, with a ten footer light bite. Uh, I think that the ability to just a small flick of the wrist. It, it just allows you to set that hook so quick. Now that's on my home lake, but on other lakes, you cast to them. You guys are gonna love those those shorter rods. A lot of people like the eight footer as well, the king's tail. Um, that thing has been flying off the shelf. 
But a 10 footer, the Hammer 10, is uh, absolute my go-to. Mmm, baby. Good fish. Slap. Now, I'll give you guys uh, a little sneak peek. If you're this far in the episode, we got the Maverick out there. You're also getting to see um, the brand new Asteroid from Sniping Braid. It has not been officially released yet, although it is for sale on the websites. Um, but this black Asteroid is amazing. Um, you talk about going stealth. Um, you'll see a full video from me on it. You'll see uh, a, lot of, a lot of the pro staffers start talking about it. You guys are getting a steep peek here. But the Asteroid, I'm just saying, is legit. Doesn't mean I'm going to change from the high vis, but you're going to see a lot more of this black, especially when we get this finicky bite. Um, I don't necessarily a big believer in whether or not the fish can see it or not, but this is stealthy. I think that the the, the uh, phrase is "let's rain down on them." That's what this that's what the asteroid is going to do, baby. So you guys check it out. Um, also, want to remind everybody that the Let's Go Fishing Pack hair jig packs they've been flying off the shelf. Um, and no joke, 45 jigs for $49. Uh, not a sales pitch, it's just a heck of a deal. So take advantage of that right there. You get that, all the different colors, can't beat it. So fish with a hair jig if you can. If you can fish with a hair jig, fish with a hair jig. It's just so much more efficient. Mm. Nice eater, nice eater, no doubt. Let's go to the cleaning table. Let's clean these fish real quick and uh, show you how I fillet fish and maybe talk a little bit what, what we put on them. Uh, but either way, check out the Maverick, all the products we talked about. That asteroid, that's going to be a big one. So, we got clean fish. All right, guys, that's going to end it. Good catch today. Check out those products. The Maverick 6 is out now. We're very excited about it. Uh, you're going to see that in a lot of bait stores and obviously at 3poundfishing.com. <laughs> Take it easy. Please share the video and enjoy your summer, guys. And uh, yeah, if you want to be ahead of the game, that asteroid on Sniping Braid, it's there now. Talk to you guys later.